Hey crafty family, it's me. And today we are going to test out some glue sticks because um, I, you know, for a long time I've had, you know, several different glue sticks and I always was disappointed by them. And I would, anytime I heard of one or somebody would be like, oh, I use this glue stick, I would get it and just to end up being disappointed. And some of the ones I was disappointed in was the obvious Elmer's washable screw glue, screw, yep, screw, school glue. <laughs> That's a good way to say it, screw. Um, it goes from purple, why is there always a gnat in here? Like, come on, seriously, let me, come here, I'll glue your ass. Anyway, <laughs> it turns from purple to clear, you know, when it's dry. Then we've got the Scotch permanent glue stick, which is just a white glue stick. And I even went as far as getting the Uhu stick, the UHU stick, thinking that it was going to be so much better than ugh, so much better than other glue sticks for some reason, but it ended up not being any better than these two. Um, but it, for the sake of argument, we are going to test them all. I got gotcha. you. I told you you were going to die, you little bastard. Sorry, excuse, R.I.P. Nat. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, Nat. He was just like hovering, and it drives me nuts. And I don't know why I have gnats. I don't even have any fruit in the house. They're just here, and you know they're not like infested. But I just get one that annoys me every day. Well, actually, more than one, because I'll kill it, and then five minutes later, another one will just come up in its place, as if, ooh, tag team, she killed that one. Now it's your turn. Go and swoop in and try to get her in the face. You know, they just try to annoy me, and I don't like them, and I want them to go away. Anyway, I have traps set up all over the hat. Like it's ridiculous. Anywho. So then I came across after all of these glue sticks and I just gave up on glue sticks because I was like, forget it. I like to glue things. I'll just use Mod Podge. I'm good with it. You know, and as soon as I, you know, give up on glue sticks, all of a sudden I come across this and I said, you know, on a last stitch effort, I got this glue stick and I was thinking eh, it's going to suck, but I did hear good things and somebody said, oh, it's better than these and yada, yada. So I tried it and I was like, Ah, it was like the holy grail of glue sticks. Finally, I found a glue stick that works. And I was so happy and excited to have this glue stick that I bought several of them and I'm down to just this one and there's literally not much left in here. So I went and I ordered more. What apparently uh, this glue has been out for a while, but it was in the form of a different type of stick. And then recently they put it into this triangular stick, same glue. And, but it used to be in this. But I recently found these and I bought her out. She had like six left and I bought them for like 60 cents a piece because I love them. And so this is the same glue that's in here. It's just in their original form. It used to be in this clear uh, round stick and then they recently switched to this triangular stick because they say it gets into the corners, which to me, I don't care because whenever I use it, I use it for like collaging stuff and I'm not really interested in getting into the corners. Um, so there's that. Then I was told that the Elmer's Extreme glue stick was pretty awesome. So I recently got one of these suckers. So now I've got every array of glue stick I think that is made. And these two are the same glue stick, but there's a reason why I have both of these out there. I'll explain that in a second. Um, but anyway, the Elmer's Extreme Glue, and from what I've played with a little bit, it is very good. But we're going to do a test on all of them. There's, whoops, sorry. These two are the same size, but it obviously says Extreme on it. Um, the thing I wanted to bring up about this is, okay, so this one here it's literally the same size because it, it might even be a more because obviously this fits in here and if you hold them side by side to where the glue comes out between here and here they're like the same size yet this says 0.5 ounces or 15 grams 0.5 so a half an ounce 15 grams this one says 28 grams or one ounce. So this is saying that this is double the size of this, which clearly you could see is this is not double the size of this. 
if anything, this is bigger. I don't understand their whole, which when they moved to this size, maybe they corrected this issue because I don't know. Well, here's why I say that. So this is claiming to be a full ounce. This is claiming to be a half ounce. But here's the, here's the thing. The Elmer's glue, this one says that it's 25 grams, 0.88 ounces. So it's not even an ounce. It's saying that this is not even an ounce. And that this is 28 grams and it's an ounce. And obviously you can see, and these are both brand new. So I just swiped on the corner of it. But let's just show what they say. Like they have their they have their their thing their sizes or whatever off big time. This is like double the thickness of this almost, or at least you know one and a half the thickness of it. Let's just do a little comparison. So okay, so it's wobbling a bit. There we go. So that's that's how much glue is in that one. Here's the one that they claim is bigger than this one, and it's a little it's a little. I know it's an older model, so it's not as good as the other one. It's a little wonkified here, but with all that aside, okay, so that's all the way up. Now you tell me, which one looks bigger? Because now, according to the package, this is bigger than that. What do you think? Somebody's lying. Somebody's got their ish completely off here because this is not bigger than this but yet the package says that this is not even an ounce and this is an ounce mm, I beg to differ I really really beg to differ I mean it is like really confusing but I don't understand why Ranger is saying that this is a full ounce when it clearly is not a full ounce. Just saying. And then they claim that this is a half an ounce and it's like the same size as this. So what I think is they made a mistake. This is a half ounce. Okay. This is, you know, the right thing on the new packaging because it says half an ounce and it's about this. It's the same as this. I mean, the glue is, there's no difference. And then this one, is proper because it says 0.88 ounce so it's not even a full ounce I don't know but seriously these people don't have their stuff together I just thought I'd point that out it was just kind of weird to me that they would do that and then like the scotch one says that it's 0.28 ounces so it's yeah and that's about the same maybe this is a little bigger than this one the uhu one says it's 0.29 ounces so that's close to this one by off by a little bit you know and this one says 0.2 or 0.77 ounces so it says that it's even a little bit smaller than this one but they look exactly the same to me maybe there's not as much this way I don't know they're all weird they're all different but hey whatever they all work kind of <laughs> sort of I just thought I'd point that out so anyway, I'm going to get out some of these strips because that's what we're going to use. These little scrapbook strips. And I figured I'd glue them to chipboard. They're all just scrapbook paper. And we're just going to glue them with each stick. And what I'm going to do is leave it off the edge so that I can peel it and see how hard it is to lift it up. Or actually, I should put it down all the way and see how hard it is for me to peel up an edge. You know what I mean? So I'll put writing on each one that I do with a pen. So we'll start with the washable Elmer school glue. And my, why are these pens run out? I barely use these pens. This makes me very upset because I got these like around Christmas time I think and they're the micron pens and they've pretty much dried up on me and I barely use them that makes me so upset because I really like these pens and I don't understand why that would happen yeah look at that they've all pretty much dried up if I would have known they were going to dry up like this I would have put them in plastic or something so that they wouldn't dry up this makes me so upset and this one's a brush pen so that one's not dried up but I'm really upset about that. Are all of them dried up? 
this one's not. Okay. Elmer's School. We'll start with that one. Then we'll do Scotch. Then we'll do Uhu. Then we'll do, we don't need two of these because we know it's the same glue. So I'll do the Ranger and the Extreme. So Elmer's School will be here. Scotch will be here. Uhu will be here. And this is the Ranger. And this is the Extreme. Extreme. So that's how we'll label that. So we'll start with the Elmers. And we'll give this a good coating of glue. Now the main thing I never liked about Elmers um, is that you know, if you had more than a, a little project to do, if you would, um, by the time you would, you know, do this to it and get to the bottom, the top had already started to dry. Do you know what I mean? So that was kind of frustrating to me. Um, that's my biggest complaint about the three of these, um, and always has been, is that they, they don't stay wet long enough for you to really work with whatever you're doing. Okay, so that's the Elmer's. Let's do the Scotch. I really had high hopes for the Scotch, because I actually thought they were gonna be a better glue. And I was, you know, disappointed when it really wasn't any better. A little bigger piece of paper, but that's okay. I'll peel it up from this end when I do it, not that end hanging over. Okay, I'm giving them all a nice rub down now, and I'm cleaning off the little area every time I do it so that it doesn't stay com get contaminated. Then we've got, here, I'll stick to the same types of paper. Then we got the Uhu. Which again, I thought I was going to be impressed with this because it was from, they don't really sell it here as much. It's overseas they use this a lot more. But yeah, again, I wasn't impressed. Wasn't impressed. I think it's like a German. I don't know. I mean, I'll still use them for light things. As long as it's light, like something like this I would use them for. But if I'm doing a big thing where I need it to not dry up by the time I get to the end, then I'm not going to use it. But as long as it, it holds, which is what we're looking for right now, we're looking to see if it holds onto this piece of chipboard. Now here's the Ranger. This is the one that I like, which I screwed it up by unscrewing it all the way. I got it all over the place. But I can already tell how sticky it is because even just picking it up, it was like super sticky. Yeah, I shouldn't have unwound it before I did that. It's okay. It's all right. But what's nice is this stays wet longer. And so you have a little bit of play, which I like. I mean, still dries pretty fast, but you still get a little bit of play with that if you need to move it, which is cool. And then here's the Elmer's Extreme, which again, I was impressed with this when I gave it a little a little try. I was happy that it was seemed just as sticky as the Ranger. All right, so we've got all the glue sticks that I have. I'm sure there's more out there that I don't have, but we've got all of them. And we're going to see, we're going to wait about 15 minutes, which is about, you know, all, all it should take. And I'll come back in 15 minutes. And then we're going to try to peel them up and see which one peels, peels up the easiest and which ones peel up the hardest. Because you want the one that's going to last, you know, I'll put it through the test of bending the paper and see if any of them lift on the edges. So we'll try that and we'll see what happens. So I will be back. Okay, we are back and... It's been a little longer than 15 minutes or so because I went and ate something. So let's do some testing and see uh, what we got. Now they all pretty much stay 
on the paper when you do stuff like this it seems they all are not going anywhere so let's try peeling them off well let's start with the crappier one the Elmer's okay so I'm able to peel up the corner fairly easily but you know it was on there pretty good it was definitely on there pretty good I was able to peel up the corner um, let's see the scotch oh that was really easy to peel up that was too easy I didn't like the scotch let's try the uhu I was able to get my nail under there pretty easy but you know it peeled up but it took a lot of the you know board behind it let's try this okay that took me a little harder to get the corner up and it is coming up but it is you see what I'm saying like you could tell that the glue has stayed more um, it's definitely a stronger bond and it's definitely taking more to get that off so yeah so far Ranger's good and that one was pretty easy to come off the extreme but I think it's got a, as good of a bond on it yeah that one's that one's hard to come off too the Ranger I think is the best but second would be this one even though I was able to get it off like a lot of the stuff came off they're all they all worked but it was easiest to get these three up hardest to get these two up and I would say the Ranger kicked kicked ass and so did the extreme even though I was able to peel it up pretty well I was taking up a lot of the backing whereas on these I didn't take up quite as much and on this one I, I ripped more of the paper than I did of the backing you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? So I think the Ranger is number one. The Extreme is good. So I think equally, I mean, they're not going to come up. You know, you're not going to be ripping. I think these three are still fine if you're doing light stuff. If you're doing heavier stuff, I wouldn't suggest it. Like heavier papers. I think I would limit these three, which are these three here. The School Glue, the Scotch, and the Uhu. I would limit these to like thin papers thin book papers thin these these were thin scrapbook papers that I did I would limit it to things that are like thin and you're gonna be fine it'll it'll hold up just fine but if you want something that's a little bit more heavy-duty I also limit these to like small pieces like you wouldn't want to cover an entire sheet with one of these like let's say you want to glue this whole thing down to this okay let's say you wanted to put glue on this whole thing and glue it down I wouldn't use these three to do that because small things are fine because what happens is you're gluing you're gluing and you're gluing and by the time you get here that up there started to dry so then you got to go back up here then this is going to dry you know what I mean like so it's a little harder to do large pieces whereas these two will stay wet longer and give you time like I could definitely do the ranger and totally glue this whole thing and glue it down and it'll stay you know what I mean so that wouldn't be a problem but you know so I would say these two are your best bets the extreme and the ranger collage glue stick and you know these are okay if, if that's all you can get these are okay for small things but most of the time when we use glue sticks we're not using major things we're not looking to make big huge things we're usually collaging small pieces of like ephemera or magazine clippings and stuff like that so really if, if you're just doing that you're fine with these you know what i mean it's i'm just very picky because i want everything to be really sticky and really strong and i want to be able to use a glue stick for a little bit heavier things and with these two you can so you're you know either way it's a win if you want to do heavier duty stuff i would get these two um, but you still can't do like heavy, heavy stuff. Like I wouldn't put two pieces of chipboard together and expect them to hold perfectly. You know what I mean? Like if I was going to do something like that, I would use Aileen's. But if I was going to do something thin to a piece of chipboard, you can do that with these. You know what I mean? Catch my drift? I hope I explained that all right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you decide on what kind of glue sticks to get, what to stay away from, what's good for what you do. 
you know because everybody's got different preferences so it kind of just depends on what what type of crafting you do and what type of glue that you need you know i can't tell you to definitely get one or the other but when these are about the same price as the other ones you might as well just get the extreme or the or the ranger you know what i mean why why would you spend the same money to get a lesser product when you can get a stronger glue stick for about the same amount of money you know what i mean like it doesn't make sense not to so hope that makes sense anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you did i really appreciate it also if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe button below and um yeah this way you'll you'll be subscribed and yeah it's, it's a it's good for my channel if you do that i really appreciate it um also uh check out the links in the description below i will put links to uh there'll be links to things that'll be useful so check that out um and i hope you guys uh have a great rest of your week make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people talk to you later bye mm -hmm.